Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft 365. In this video, we'll be looking at PIM, Privileged Identity Management, and activating a role that has been assigned to the user. In the previous video, we uh, looked at an introduction to PIM and how to assign roles to, to a user. Uh, but in this uh, video, we will be activating the role that's been assigned to us. So we assigned the role of uh, user administrator to test one, which is the user that I'm currently logged in with. And the user administrator role allows the user to create new user accounts. So to see if this is active, we can currently go to uh, Microsoft Azure Active Directory. We can click on view and we can go to users and under users, you can see the new user option is grayed out. This is because the role has not been uh, activated. Although it's assigned to me, I have not yet activated it. So to activate the role, we need to go to the, the portal homepage and search for PIM in the search bar. So if you type PIM or Privileged Identity Management and you click on it, it will take you to the, the overview page where you'll see that you'll have some information about, if we scroll down, manage access, adjust, uh, activate just in time, and discover and monitor. So we have limited uh, permissions here, so we only really uh, interested in the my role uh, or my requests. We can't approve any requests because this user has not been assigned the role to, to approve that, and we cannot review any access. So we want to go to my role or my roles, and you can see within the My Roles, you have the, uh, the detail of the, the role, so user administrator, the scope, the membership, and the time. So we set this to the 30th of the 10th, so uh, from the 1st of the 10th to the 30th of the 10th, 2020. So I still have this role. I'm still eligible for this role for the next 30 days. So if I click on Activate, you will see I will have option here for additional verification. I cannot activate it yet because we have to, to activate it using multi-factor authentication. So if we click on continue uh, and we say next, and if I enter the password and I sign in, It will come up with the screen asking me for my uh, multi-factor authentication. So I can download this, the app from Microsoft. I can uh, use a different, different authenticator app. I can say I want to uh, set up a different method. So if I use the uh, phone option, this will al allow me to enter my mobile number and I can validate that uh, uh, login on my phone. I'm going to cancel this and say I want to use a different authenticator app. Click on next. And when the QR code appears, I can scan that in on my app on my mobile device. And I can click on next. And I can enter the code that I was given. If I click on next, it will say success and I can say click on done. And this will take me back to PIM. So in, in, the, in the screen over here, I can say custom activation and I can say how long uh, by default it will be activated for eight hours. And I can say the reason I need to add a new user. You could add any information that you want in there. Let's type that correctly. And if I click on activate, good. And now you can see that it's busy activating it. Let's let the screen refresh. Now, if we go back to my roles, uh, you can see over here for eligible assignment, but if we click on active, you can see over here, we have a uh, user administrator that is active. I can also click on deactivate if I want, but let's test that it's working. So if I go to the home page, I locate the Azure Active Directory and under Azure Active Directory, I go to users. And you can see now, I, if I click on new user, I have an option to create a new user. 
So with PIM, it gives you, uh, as administrators, a lot of flexibility where you can limit uh, who has access and how long they can have access. And this is a really, really cool feature from Microsoft. And uh, to use it and implementing it is very easy.